Some research suggests that adequate levels of vitamin D can have a protective effect or even lower the risk for multiple sclerosis. But health reporter Alicia Booth is here now with some new information that's very important for Northeast Ohioans to know. We don't get a lot of vitamin D no. around here. There has been so much in the news lately about the importance of vitamin D that more people are deciding to take a vitamin D supplement. But this new research just released this afternoon makes an important distinction when it comes to vitamin D and protecting against MS. The study in the journal Neurology shows that sunlight separate from vitamin D may be protective against multiple sclerosis. That means a supplement alone may not be enough. Now, the problem, of course, is that we know sun can give you cancer. We talked to the director of the Mellon Center for MS at the Cleveland Clinic today to find out what we Northeast Ohioans should glean from this research. You absolutely have to balance sunlight exposure with too much exposure and the increased risk of skin cancer but a moderate amount of sun exposure on a routine basis every day or at least several times a day for 10 or 15 minutes is probably good for one's health. Okay, so I know what you're thinking is how do I do that on a day like this? Dr. Fox says you can get the benefit of sun exposure when it's overcast. The most beneficial is to get it on your arms and face if possible and don't stop taking that vitamin D supplement. 